Welcome to Using Casper Reports for Data-Driven QAPI, Part 2, Interpreting the Reports. The objective of this session is to describe each element of the Casper Facility Level Quality Measure Report and the Resident Level Quality Measure Report so that you understand and can use the data. This is a screenshot of a Casper report for the facility level quality measures. The top left-hand side shows you the facility ID number, the CMS certification number, or CCN, your facility name, the city, state, and the date that the data was calculated on. On the top right-hand side, you will see the report period, which is the report period selected by you, the user, the comparison group, which you can change if you decide to, but will be automatically populated when you open the CASPER reporting system, the run date, which is the date that you ran the report on, and the version number, which is, of course, MDS 3.0. That will change if there's an update to the software. In the body of the report, you will see a column for the numerator. These are the residents that actually triggered that measure in your MDS. The denominator, which is all of the eligible residents in the building during that time period. The facility observed percentage, which is simply division of the numerator by the denominator. The facility adjusted percentage, which can be case mix adjusted, and you will notice in some instances that the number is different than the facility observed percentage. For example, looking at moderate to severe pain long stay, the facility observed percentage is 7.4%, while the facility adjusted percentage is 8.8%. Whether it's up or down, this is an indication that your residents are slightly different than what would be expected given your case mix. If it is adjusted up, it means that more residents are experiencing moderate to severe pain than would be expected. And if it's adjusted down, that you're managing pain for your patient mix better than would be expected. The next column shows you the comparison group state average. This is all of the nursing homes within the state that have MDS data reported. The comparison group national average, which is all of the nursing homes in the country that have MDS data. And the final column is the comparison group national percentile. This column is especially important because it will indicate what percentile ranking you are for each quality measure. And if it flags above, at or above the 75th percentile, it will be bolded and there will be an asterisk next to it. This is an indication to the surveyors when they are prepare, preparing for your survey that this is a quality care area that they should be focused on. This is the resident level quality measure report. And you want to make sure if you run this report that you're running it for the exact same time period as the facility level quality measure report so that the residents that are listed in this report are the same residents that are creating your quality measure data. In the resident level quality measure report, you will see again that you have at the top the facility ID, the facility name, the CMS certification number, the city and state, the date the data was calculated on. And on the top right hand side, you will see the report period, the date that the data was run, and the version number. In this case, it shows 2.0 because this is a screenshot from a previous quality measure manual. The report then has each resident's name, their identification number, and a column that shows what survey or assessment type is being reported in this MDS resident level quality measure report. Then each of the quality measures are listed across the top and in each column, you will notice that there is either an uh, alphanumeric character or an X. And that X indicates if they've triggered that measure. And in this particular example, they have highlighted falls with major injury, 
and low risk bowel and bladder continence and the residents that are triggering for those measures. This is an example of how you can use this report to analyze the data and investigate your care practices. The quality reporting program that is part of the Improving Medicare Post-Acute Care Transformation or IMPACT Act requires that every nursing home submits standardized data and it established a quality reporting program for the skilled nursing facilities. CMS was required to develop and implement quality measures from five quality measure domains using standardized assessment data, as well as looking at how facilities are using resources, hospitalization rates, and discharge to the community as part of this quality reporting program. The intent of this quality reporting program is to encourage facilitated coordination of care, improve outcomes for the beneficiaries, and provide an opportunity to compare quality across all settings. In quality reporting fiscal year 2019, they will continue with their cross-setting quality measures, and this is section GG data that you are providing through CMS. It looks specifically at Medicare fee-for-service residents using Part A, and it is used for your annual payment update determination. You have CASPER reports available to look at and evaluate your performance in the quality reporting program. There are review and correct reports, just as there are for the facility level quality measures, and there are quality measure reports for facility and resident level for specific to the quality reporting program. For fiscal year 2019, the measures that they are looking at are the percentage of residents or patients with pressure ulcers that are new or worsened, and this is a short stay measure. They're looking to see about the application of, of the percent of long-term care patients with admission and discharge functional assessment and a care plan that addresses function, again, section GG application of the percent of residents experiencing one or more falls with major injury, your long stay measure. And then they're looking at the Medicare spending per beneficiary for post-acute care, skilled nursing facility quality reporting program. They are adding in a potentially preventable 30-day post-discharge readmission measure, and they are, will continue to look at discharge to the community. This is a screenshot of the facility level quality measure report for the quality reporting program. And you can see that it shows the numerator, denominator, facility observed percentage, the facility risk adjusted percentage, and the comparison group national average. Remember, this data will be different than that on your quality measure CASPER reports for MDS 3.0 because this is only Medicare fee-for-service Part A beneficiaries. This is a screenshot of page two, which looks at the patients that had an admission and discharge functional assessment and a care plan, section GG, and the long-stay residents that experienced fall with major injury. Again, reminder that this is different than what you see on your CASPER reports because this is the Medicare Part A fee-for-service beneficiaries. Resident level quality measure report provides for you the same type of information that is in the MDS report that we looked at previously, but it will show you whether or not you actually performed the activity for that resident so that you can look to improve these processes and systems as well. Additionally, the report includes page on your Medicare spending per beneficiary during the specific report period and that is determined by CMS, you cannot change that report period. And it compares your facility's spending average to the national average. 
It also then looks at preventable 30-day post-discharge readmissions. And this is something that is different for your quality measure payment than in fiscal year 2018, where they're specifically looking at hospital readmissions. This one, they're looking at potentially preventable ones, and it's based on claims data, not on your determination of whether or not it could be avoided. The final page of the report talks about discharge to the community. Again, this is a claims-based measure. This is what's reported and you will see on Nursing Home Compare, but this is uh, slightly different because again, it is only your Part A beneficiaries. This is a conclusion of the different reports that are available to you through CASPER and how you can look to see what the data is telling you. Thank you. If you have any questions, please reach out to your state lead and we can provide technical assistance.